Hello and an exceptionally warm welcome back to the channel and I'm full of enthusiasm today to show you this really nice train set. It's the last of the two we looked at in a previous video. Now you'll notice I haven't got any more out on the table because we are going to have a break from train sets. So we'll have fun with this one today but then winter's on its way, there's more time in the evening so I'm going to get back to some of the projects I've shared with you. I've got that Princess Royal that was scabbed up badly by disintegrating foam. It needs refinishing. Let's get back to it. I've got a Winston Churchill that we stripped off a really dubious paint scheme from. The body shell needs to be repaired. And I said, I'm going to paint it in a wartime grey livery. So that's coming up too. Lots of excitement, hopefully. Mechanically, I need to get back to the ball bearing conversion of the X03, X04 motors. And I've also been toying with Wren Class 08 shunters, trying to get them to run over the Super 4 diamonds. So we need pickups, better pickups on the central wheels. I've got a Wren R1 that I'm going to alter the gear ratio in to make it a shunting engine for the hump shunting yard. Loads of things coming up, so I hope you stick with the channel. And I'll look forward to hearing what you think about these new projects when we get around to showing them. But I'm quite excited about them. Now look, the old faithful batteries, honestly, still the same two from earlier in the year. They've done a lot of running, but there's still some life in them. I've got the wires connected and just there, the battery controller from Hornby 00. I wonder whether this little Triangle RT42 is going to be as good. I think it will be. I have tested it briefly, so I know we're going to have some success. That track, I haven't got time to clean all the track in the set today, so that's proven. It runs, so we'll cheat a bit and use that to try the items on. Now, before I get the tripod out so I can use both hands to look at what's in the box, let's just look at this excellent box art. A young person with three locos on the go, an N2, Duchess of Montrose and a Silver King. Imagine seeing these boxes in your local store all piled up. It's going to get you thinking about birthdays and Christmas, isn't it? Because they just look so enticing. Anyway, as I just said a second ago, I'll get this camera fixed. So I've got both hands and we'll take a look at some of the items in the box. So I'll be back in a moment. OK, well, it's time to have a look in this great box of bits and bobs. There's a few extra items. There's this signal. Um, how can I get that into view? Hornby, made in England, Meccano Limited. But look at it, isn't it pretty? That's got to be set up near the track. And then Hornby 00. This water dispensing apparatus in really crisp condition as well. And the pipe's still a bit flexible, so great to see. Now, you might remember in the first section, I said I thought it might come from 1954. Now, I know the dating on these things can take a bit of understanding, but I believe the central number and the last two digits do denote the year. So that's 54. And also... This leaflet too has got 5-4 at the end of the central number. Now you can tell me if I'm wrong about that. I'll be happy to know. So what's inside? Well, that says instructions for electric trains. We have seen this pamphlet before. There's sort of general wiring instructions, how to get your power batteries or whatever you choose to use connected to the rails, how to assemble the rails, how to fit the track together. And then look at that, loco chassis, lubrication, maintenance, staples have gone a bit rusty, haven't they? But still a nice, still a nice thing. And look, here's, this is something we are going to deal with in a separate video. And I've mentioned it several times. Screw for adjusting the magnetic shunt. The only Hornby Double locomotive to feature this variable magnet system. I'm going to deal in, um, yeah, deal with that in a separate video and we'll do some experiments. So that's the locomotive pamphlet out the way. Some layouts. 
I don't know, we'll just quickly look inside. Gives you an idea of where next to go once you've had lots of fun with the track in your set and they get more and more ambitious. So lots of great fun. Seems to be a bit of a hole in that page. Let's just turn it over. Just hopefully. Yeah, look at that. Strange. But anyway, there's a, a really nice layout. That would be something great to aim for, wouldn't it? And uh, all fits on an eight, eight foot by four foot six board. So lots of fun there. And what's on the last page? Yeah, look, track accessories. So a great system, this three rail. Look at those electric points. They must have been fantastic things. And we've got electric uncoupling rail as well. So lots of remote control actions available. As I said, both of those seem to say 1954, so that could be the age of the set. So the track in the set, standard curves and a couple of straights, one made up of two pieces of track. I'm going to try and use those. They always seem to supply a section of uh, track designed for a level crossing, maybe to get you to buy one. I don't know. But anyway, we've got this brick wagon in here. So let me see if I can just ease this out. Um, this is why you should always get things out earlier, but uh, empty to flatten. Now, I do believe that some of them say return to flatten. There's different printing, but that's a really nice looking wagon, isn't it? Look at the shine on it. Just the way they printed onto this tin plate is um, exceptionally. Well, it's just it really looks good even today. OK, so we're going to have that on and then we've got this really nice long sort of bolster wagon i really am struggling with the cardboard but hopefully i'm not damaging it i'm just pressing it down and releasing the items but that's beautiful isn't it little bit of corrosion on there but oh, it seems to come off with my fingers so i'll clean it up those metal wheels there's a little bit of dirt on some of them but they're going to run nicely and then there's this, just ease it out, hopefully, this guards van. Look at that, 20 tonnes. I think that's what the 20T means. And those, just those brilliant windows they printed on, they just shine away. Imagine the sun reflecting off glass. So another great item, substantial chimney there for the little stove inside. The roof's a bit loose. But it hasn't seen the greatest amount of punishment. So the paint finish is good and I think it's going to look nice running around the track. So let's briefly look at the loco. Now I'm just going in here because there is a very distressed guarantee. Tested and guaranteed. I think there would have been more packaging in here originally and there's a, another label. Now we did mention briefly that there were some accessories in the box. Well, we're going to have to look at these in a different video. Insulating tabs that can be used when creating blocks or different sections in the layout. So you can isolate locos and run others. One of these looks in really good condition. Not so good, but let's just see whether I can entice the contents out. When you get more advanced with your Hornby 00, let me just see. Can I? Insulating tab. Now, I think this one's been cut, but this one looks whole. And the idea is that you just introduce these between terminals. So you can actually stop the conductivity between two sections of central rail. And then you can just either connect in wires with additional terminals and switch them in and out with switches. But uh, let's just look at that again. Very nice item, isn't it? So here's the loco. Quite nice, crisp British rail. And it's 80054. Those brass 
Items look really clean, not too much corrosion. It's got all its buffers. You can see I've cleaned the wheels. They were very dirty. And look at that, hardly anywhere on the pickup. So not too much life been taken out of this loco. The bearings are all tight. A little bit of white grease on there. But it is indeed, and with its quite complicated valve gear, an excellent looking item. And we have enjoyed looking at some Wren versions of this. And there's the adjustment for that magnetic shunt. Anyway, I think it's time for me to get this uh, track together and we're going to see how these items perform on the test track table. So I'll be back in a moment. OK, well, check this out. The track, the oval is assembled. The accessories are placed. There's the set box. And look, we've got the little controller here. I'm looking forward to trying it out. So all the wires are connected and I'm just going to put the power on. Oh, had to turn it right round to get the loco to start. Not the same amount of controllability as the little Dublo battery controller. But look, we're underway. Bit more power. Definitely not quite so much controllability. Whether that's due to dirt on the resistance. But there, let's just take a step back. And a quiet runner. Let's bring it to a stop by the box. OK, I'm going to attempt to reverse this set now. Once again, how slow can I get it to run? So I'm leaving it at this setting. Let's just have a look. Quite near the end of the travel. All the control abilities near the end of the travel. But that might be due to the batteries being a bit flat. But it's fun and it works. And you can just imagine what it would have been like using these items years ago. So here we go. Well, the loco is operating at this nice near to scale speed. Just try and get down a bit to give you a table eyes view of the loco. So a bit more power. It's like I've been saying quite a lot of this year there's a bit of fun to be had running these items on batteries though it is a bit expensive but saying that here they are these two lamp batteries less than 10 pounds have given me many hours of running so i'm sure they're nearly exhausted but they're still powering this 264 and it's a heavy Hornby 00 item. So we just attempt to slow it down a little bit. Ooh, is it going to make it round at this speed or will we get a stall? Just crawling along. The friction on the curves, these metal wheels just slowing it down. Picks up on the straight. Well, I've had a lot of fun getting this item up and running again, this Hornby 00 set. I'm really pleased with the little Triang controller. There is no doubt it hasn't quite got the flexibility of the Hornby 00 one. 
just powering up a little more but it's still good fun and you've just got to love the way it looks haven't you that bakelite look the big red overload button there it's just something to admire well i hope you've enjoyed all these items and seeing this last train set for a while i'll probably just have a a little bit more fun with it for the next five minutes i can't say what's going to be on next week we're all a bit fluid now so that gives me a little bit of anticipation as well so we'll just see what comes up but thanks for looking again i hope you've enjoyed the items on display today and until next time I'll say goodbye.